says that he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. You know, you think about all the stories that we read about in the New Testament of Jesus healing people, you know, cleansing lepers, you know, recovering the sight of the blind. I mean, what an amazing thing that must have been. What an, I mean, how amazing it must have been for the people who received the healings. Not just the people who watched the miracles, but the people who were on the receiving end of it. Well, here we have Jesus in a city, and yet he doesn't do many works there because of their unbelief. They wouldn't trust him. He's in a, he's in a city that didn't have hope, mm -hmm. that weren't trusting in him right. and weren't believing in him. And so, you know, he didn't do many wonderful works there. And, you know, the truth is, Y'all are going to have a church right here, but if you're not going to have hope, if you're not going to expect God to do anything, He's probably not going to do anything. It's amazing how many people regularly, you know, you can, you can tell if they're expecting God to do something or not expecting God to do something in their church by just their attendance. N nobody would skip church if they thought God was going to do something great that day. That's right. Nobody would skip soul if they knew God was going to do something great in that day. If they were expecting God to show up and do something, you better believe that they're going to be there. But they don't because, uh, I don't think God's going to do anything. Uh, we don't have anything special planned this Sunday. You know, the, you know, there's no potluck. There's no whatever, you know, fun thing. You know, it, it, isn't it sick? I'm all for doing some fun programs and having fun as believers. I'm 100% for that. But, you know, it's just pretty sad how churches today are just turning into these, you know, social clubs where they've just got to constantly have these fun activities. And if there's not bounce houses and clowns and acrobats at the church, you know, people aren't coming. Right. And it's always just pro well, one promotion after another. they got to find some way to keep the people entertained. And if there isn't some show coming that day, right. if there's not, you know, if, if the pastor hasn't announced... You know, the magician that's coming to church next night. People aren't going to show up. They're not expecting God to do anything. And how that must make God feel. Well, as, as believers, we ought to have a full expectation that when we come together, that God's going to do something. I mean, after all, he said, for where two or three are gathered together in right. my name, Amen. there am I in the midst of them. Did, not, did God not call for us as believers to assemble together? Folks, they were assembling together in the Old Testament. And while a lot of things changed in the Old Testament, while the book of Hebrews teaches us a lot of things that changed, the sacrifices, those things changed, those were finished. In, you know, the Sabbath, that was finished. The, the book of Hebrews is telling us all these things that have changed. When he gets to Hebrews chapter 10, what did he say? He said, not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is. But exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Now, every pastor always likes to bring that up when it talks about church attendance. But what's interesting about that passage in, in context is that he was saying, well, a lot's changed. One thing I don't want you to change, one thing that did not change from the Old Testament to the New Testament was the assembling of the believers. Right. God wants his people coming together. He wants them with each other. And he wants to show up. He wants to be there in the midst of them. And he wants to do something. And what does he want? You know what he wants to do? He wants to bear his arm. He wants to show his power in some way. That's what God wants to do. And whenever we just go and we just get careless about it, we're not faithful, it's because we're not expecting anything. And when we don't expect anything, we don't get anything.